Uh, Finn Hudson Prentice, uh, disappointing today. What, what, what's your take on the match? <laughs> um, yeah, another tough day. Um, it's not been our competition, to say, to say the least, so far. Um, I think we got bogged down a little bit, obviously, with the bat. They took wickets at regular intervals, which made it hard for us to put the accelerator on until the last sort of seven or eight overs. And obviously, with the ball, I thought we started fairly well again. Um, and again, they put on a big partnership at the start, which, in contrast, we weren't we weren't able to do. So it sort of got away from us, and it sort of showed at the end, like when we when we did bowl in a nice area consistently, how hard it was. Um, but it was too little, too late. We were trying to assess in, in, in the press box whether it was the wicket, whether it was slow, whether it was difficult to bat on earlier. Was it a case of them bowling well or was Sussex just couldn't get the grips with the pitch? Yeah, they did bowl well. Um, there was a bit of movement. Uh, there was some swing for McElroy and Van Gugten is a high-class bowler, he seems it, when there's a little bit on offer. So um, even when we bowled on the new ball, you could see there was swing and seam movement. So there was plenty there early on. Um, we got off to a really good start, I thought. I thought Wardy and both Hainsey um, played really well. Um, it's just been a constant theme so far in this competition for us that we haven't really been able to capitalise on good positions or when we have got into great positions in the middle we sort of slow down. It's not it's not been um, the same rhythm that we sort of had in this competition last year. So, yeah. Why is that thing, do you think? It's a great question, Adrian. I'm, 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 unfortunately, I don't, I don't really know. I think that's just cricket sometimes. I think sometimes like you're going really well, everyone's confidence is sky high. Um, at the moment, there's a lot of lads in the dressing room, myself included, that confidence isn't that high. Um, when you're losing games, it's it's hard to put the accelerator down in the middle overs or at the end and try and whack it when you might not have been scoring runs or you might not be in great rhythm. Um, same with the ball, we haven't bowled particularly well in this competition. It's hard to run up and bowl at 100%, try and hit the top of off stump when you're struggling. Um, that's the game. You go through ups and downs, and at the moment we seem to be going through a pretty, pretty down patch, so hopefully we can bounce back. The coach was saying he felt there was a bit of pressure on the Sussex players in this competition because you'd done so well last year, because very few players have gone to the 100. Do you think that expectation perhaps weighed down on the, on the squad in the competition? No, I don't think so. Um, we've obviously got a very strong squad. This is pretty much our first team squad, barring George Garton. Um, he's the only one that we have on a contract that would be for anything other than T20 cricket that we're missing, sorry. So we're pretty much at full strength. Um, so it just shows that we haven't been playing very good cricket. I mean, that's all I've got to say about that, really. Three games remaining, though, Finn. It, qualification looks nigh and impossible now, but you know, still three important games to play, I guess. Absolutely. Um, I mean, for everyone involved, everyone wants to do well, everyone wants to score runs, everyone wants to take wickets. So every game you play, everyone will give 110%. Um, we're giving 110% at the moment. As I said, it's just not really working out. So yeah, we've got three games to rectify that. We've got two more home games, so um, we really need to start winning games here because people keep coming out in force and we're letting them down. So yeah. Let's talk about yourself though, because you say not playing with confidence, but you know, 66 today, you, you've looked in really good form this season, Finn, not just in this competition, but the championship as well. Um, yeah, it's been nice. It's obviously not nice when you're not winning games though. Um, I think there's been a lot of backing from from Farbs to me, um, going out and playing my natural game and stuff, which has helped, but I mean, it's only nice really when you're winning games and I don't think I've scored runs in a game that we've won this season. So, I mean, it's all good and well saying I got 60 today, but again, we didn't get over the line. So it's a, it's not really a, um, it's, it's bittersweet to say the least, yeah. Final question, talk about these these final games coming up. How is, is it for you, the senior players, to, to really pick some of these lads up? You say confidence is down now, but how can you get that confidence up? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're out of the comp now. So, um, I mean, it's just one of those things we've got to just play with freedom. I think now there's nothing on the line. I think people should go out there and show what we're really about. I think that's almost like a weight off the shoulders, maybe. I don't know. Because um, we all feel like we should have qualified in this competition with the squad we had. So maybe now it's time, three games to go, people to really play with some freedom and show what we've got.